what's that definition of right? What's the right use of AI? Very much so. A robot judge could be less biased than a human judge. I think machines actually help complement us. They actually help free up our time so that we can actually tackle more complex work, more value-add work. And one of the things I'm actually finding out is to free up the time for us to understand and explore what it means to be human at a much deeper level. So maybe you can talk about some of the uh, you know problems uh, for social goods in which you uh, have worked or you've seen the UN working or you've seen uh, other organizations around the world that many are cited in your book working and what's basically happening on that uh, on that side for the social group there's there's a couple of challenges in that I mean one obviously is we always need more more help for volunteers more resources but two everything we do we have to look through um, ethical eyes to make sure are we protecting people's you know data their, their privacy their, their data security are we creating un, unintended harm so are we creating like disparate impact and one of the things that we've come out of this is we realized we need a very proactive stance when it comes to regulation and policy and in some cases legislation what, what do we do about some of these things just because we can do something doesn't mean that we should do something What's that definition of right? What's the right use of AI? We all have different morals and ethics. So even not just as countries, but even as people, how do we balance that out? And that's become one of the big challenges with AI for good in that there's a fine line between what we call AI for good and scary AI. This is uh, making me thinking that in your book there is an interview that you asked whether or not uh, it would be a good idea to substitute the judge completely because AI could be less biased than a human being. Yeah, so maybe you can talk about that and how we go about deciding something like this. Well, let, let's assume that we can actually clean out our data set. We don't have those, those other biases. Very much so. A robot judge could be less biased than a human judge. Um, there's actually been a, a study shown that one of the biggest influences on a, a judge's behavior and the way they ro rule on a case is on how hungry they are. So, <laughs> it, you know, if it's getting close to lunchtime or dinner time, they found the judges might be a little more irritable or a little more anxious to uh, wrap things up. And that can actually sway the way they, they rule on things like this objection or anything like that. Don't you think that this this all uh, debate and conversation around artificial intelligence versus human intelligence is rising more awareness on our limitations as a human being? But actually we're finding out that we are pretty much subjected to a number of automated processes and we make decisions or act as, as robots in a sense. Not always, but a good portion of the things we do is is like being as a robot. What do you make of that? I think there's a lot of truth in that, right? We do a lot of things by instinct. We've done it so often that we don't consciously think about it anymore, right? Like think about brushing your teeth. Do you really sit there and think, okay, I gotta do this, I can do that. It just becomes second nature. But I, I do wanna call out that, you know, in, in some regards, we, we're learning some limitations or things that machines are better than us at. Same token, there are things that we are better than machines we should never lose sight of that. It's not that machines are going to replace us. I think machines actually help complement us. They actually help free up our time so that we can actually tackle more complex work, more value-add work. And one of the things I'm actually finding out is to free up the time for us to understand and explore what it means to be human at a much deeper level. I think there are some futurists that have envisioned the society where human beings are most interested in uh, arts, self-enrichment, learning, studying, rather than being slave of uh, having to work. 